Welcome, Welcome back, back to, to the channel. channel. Tonight we are going to dine at Del Monaco's over in the Palazzo. Yeah, so come get lost with us in some band. Let's take a look around. It's pretty cool. It's very uh, retro y. Very like 80s like, yeah. I guess. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Alright, so it's kind of like a croissant. And the butter has like the salt. Sprinkled on top, so. Mm. Nice and flaky. And the butter is delicious. That's a nice little snack. So, we just ordered drinks. So once our drinks come out, we'll come and get you. And then we're gonna order some apps and get the meal started. So stick around. It's a little smoky. Um, it's a little more smokier than like what I usually go for in a drink. It's not as sweet. I would say it's a little more on the bitter side, um, but it's not bad. I'm enjoying it. Um, Gary changed things up a little bit and got a mule. I'm usually the one that gets a mule. So let's see what he thinks about his mule. Mexican mule, which is basically a mule but with tequila in it. I get a little bit of the tequila. Mostly it's the ginger beer that you're tasting. Uh, it's good though. If you like a mule, this is a nice little change of pace. I like it a lot. So we've got some apps coming out and we'll come and get you when they get here. So what do you think of the Mexican mule? I like it. I like meals though, so meals are my go-to. So I, I really enjoy the ginger, like I like the taste of the ginger. It's, it gives it like a spiciness to the to the drink that you don't usually get in most drinks, so that's, I think that's why I prefer meals. But it's not bad, it's actually really good. All right, so we got the barbecue shrimp, um, and it's four shrimps in a house-made barbecue sauce, and they are definitely grilled to perfection from what I can see. And it also comes with a rosemary buttermilk biscuit, so I'm gonna give this huge shrimpy a try. I'm good. That was really good. Literally grilled. Really light smoky flavor. But the barbecue sauce is 10 out of 10. Delicious. Let's see what Gary thinks. Alright, so I'm gonna try the barbecue shrimp. good trip. The barbecue sauce is really, really tasty. Really, really good. Um, overall, really, really amazing. Yeah, the shrimp tastes fantastic. Let's try the biscuit real fast. Wow. 
you like hints of that buttermilk biscuit and then you get that little bit of rosemary that kicks in there. Oh, that's amazing. Very good. Definitely recommend. So we've got some soup coming out. We'll come and get you when they get here. I got the French onion soup, so um, as I mentioned before, and we're gonna dig in. It's probably nice and hot and firm on top, but. <laughs> it is so nice and cheesy. The broth is really nice and savory. It's not too overloaded on the onion side, and the cheese just really nicely complements it, and the chives on top just kind of give it that extra little onion kick. So I have to say, definitely one of the cheesiest uh, French onion soups that I've ever had. So Gary got lobster bisque. Let's see what he thinks. Hello, sir. You ready? Alright, so I got the lobster bisque. Nice big piece of lobster. <laughs> Mm. Nice and creamy. You can definitely tell it's made with like a heavy cream. The lobster pieces are nice sized. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, overall, it's really, really tasty. Uh, you really definitely get a nice piece of that seafood bite to it. Mm. That is really good. So we've got some main courses coming in. We'll come and get you when they get here. So here's what's left of my soup. It was a really nice balance of like lobster, onion, seafood flavor. Really, really tasty, but very heavy in that heavy cream. I loved it a lot. Nancy's chowing down on her cheese. She's a cheese gobbler. So they also apparently make Caesar salad at the table. Okay, so this is the part that you guys came for, the steaks. Um, right off the bat, they look excellent and definitely one of the bigger steaks that I've ordered. So I'm gonna give my steak a try. And I ordered my medium, but it definitely looks a little rare, but that's okay, because I like my steak rare. Usually it gets, comes out overdone, so. We got some shrimp pasta here. Too big of a piece there? Okay, now that I swallowed and I can talk again, I have to say, hands down, one of the best steaks I've ordered in Vegas. I would probably put this above Circus Circus, um, the steak that I have there, um, because it's nice and like charred, has a lot of seasoning, and the butter just kind of takes it up a notch. It was cooked to the right temperature for me as to what I like, and I have to say, I really enjoy this, so if you're looking for a good steak, this is not a bad option. Let's see how Gary thinks about this steak. So the first thing is the sides are really big. Uh, they're typically like two to three people is a share. We got the baked potato to share and you'll see the toppings and stuff. Pretty standard baked potato, so we're not gonna test that on camera, but it does look good. All right, let's give the steak a try. It does come with a, like a Creole butter on top of it. And it's got Creole seasonings on the steak too. Perfectly tender, a light little seasoning of the, the Cajun seasoning. It's got a little bit of a bite to it, but it's not anything uh, extreme. So if you're interested in the nice little seasoning, that's really good. That is probably one of the better steaks that we've had on the strip. I definitely would put it above Circus Circus, maybe not golden steer level yet, but really, really tasty. And the butter on top of it gives it a nice little coolness, as well as kind of like a, a, a nice little like mintiness too. Really, really good. Definitely recommend. So we've got some other stuff coming, and we'll come and get you one there. Pretty good. Mine had a little bit of gristle on it. Macy is full, so she got about half hers now. It was good. Really good. I really like this. 
It was probably one of the better steaks you've had on the strip, so definitely a place we'd recommend. I would definitely agree. I would put it above our Circus Circus Steakhouse, um, but not quite Golden Steer. Just too short. Yeah, I know. I'm too short. Um, but it was good. It was a good steak. It was a good dinner, actually. The Banana Fosters, do not miss that. That is really, 10 out really, of 10. really good. Best. The steak was great. The lobster bisque was good. Everything, I think, was pretty tasty here. Agreed. So, if you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. And make sure you ring that notification bell so that way you get notified when we do eating videos again. And we'll come get you for the next one. Ain't that the truth, baby Ruth? Someone missed her line. <laughs> Bye.